channel fans welcome back to bricks and studs so today we've got another video review for you guys um, for those of you who are new to the channel and just now clicking on this video and this is your first time seeing a bricks and studs video please remember to hit that subscribe button and to also turn on post notifications that way you can see when I upload the newest videos of the coolest new Lego sets guys so without further ado let's get started this is of course a set that I've already time lapsed but now we are ready for the review so this is the Lego Ninjago movie series this is the lightning jet and this is Mr. J's jet so the blue ninja it is for ages 9 through 14 it is of course set 7614 it is 876 pieces this comes with six minifigures guys um, you can see a better orientation of them up here on top of the box we've got this guy right here he is a shark army thug he has a couple weapons that he can use we have the jelly soldier right here who is also part of the shark army we have Krusty, who looks like a total jerkwad, guys. We've got Jay, who is the Blue Ninja, of course. Not the biggest fan of this minifigure, but he's alright. We've got Ed and Edna, who are both um, the adoptive parents of uh, Laloid, the Green Ninja. So yeah, guys, some really cool box art. Very big set. I picked this set up for about uh, $52, I believe, at Walmart. And it comes with 876 pieces, so if you ask me, that's a steal, guys. So let's go ahead and flip this around and let me show you guys around the box. Boxes are always exciting guys, so I always try to show them. There's quite a few different play features for this set. It does morph and transform into all sorts of different shapes and sizes. It spans from 17 inches from left to right from the wingspan, so that's awesome to have. Very large, very cool. I like what the Lego Ninjago movie series has done with all these cool different mechs and uh, robotic type things, but yeah guys, so that's the box. That's everything to do with it Let me get started with the characters So let's get that box out of the way guys I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the star of this show, which is of course Jay the blue ninja check him out guys really cool looking minifigure definitely digging his uh, outfit looks great uh, He's got some pouches strapped across his chest uh, for some ninja stars probably or some knives or weapons He's got some cool printing on his legs representing some sort of laces for maybe his shoes you can see his little satchel on the back with the little symbol so really cool looking i like these new two-tone uh, face masks top and bottom looks great got this really cool weapon right here that you can use to swing around and stab people with so really cool looking minifigure guys definitely a good looking one uh you can pop off his helmet if i can do it with one hand and he does have an alternative face that looks much angrier. But like I've told you guys before in previous videos, I do like my minifigures to look happy. So I always make sure to keep their happy face showing. So there we go. There is Jay. Moving on, we have the other shark army guy. This is Jelly. He's got a couple of weapons right here. He's got his little fish uh, water shooter thingy-majigger. Got some really cool printing on this one, guys. I really like this figure. He's got a cool jellyfish over his head, serving as some sort of a helmet or dome. Looks awesome. He's got that really cool wicked facial hair underneath his uh, helmet. Looks great. Um, as I said, he's got tentacles coming down his vest that are supposed to represent from the uh, jellyfish on his head. Really cool looking soldier, guys. Really cool printing all around his back. He's got more tentacles, more tools, more utility belts. Um, you can tell his arms are exposed, his yellow arms. He's got a stud shooter right here. That's awesome to have a handheld stud shooter. Those are always good to have around. So there's that guy. Moving on, we have Krusty. This one's really cool. I really dig this hair piece or this head piece he has on here. Um, he definitely looks very angry and unhappy with the circumstances because he probably is going up against this big sucker right here. But it looks cool. Got some good printing. Got this really cool like uh, battery percentage symbol right here. That's not a sticker. That is printed. And this is his like jetpack sort of deal, so that's awesome. He's got this cool weapon. It's a fish with a big giant saw looking thing sticking out of its mouth. So definitely looks lethal. Uh, let's see, let's pop off this little, uh, and this is like a rubbery feel, guys. It comes in, a, in its own separate little bag in the packaging. Uh, looks really cool, though. Definitely digging this orange color. Uh, definitely feeling very crabby with that for sure. Um, pun, no pun intended for sure, but he does have only one face. He is intended to look angry at all times, I'm assuming. Moving on, we have Edna here, who is Laloid's adoptive grandmother. So she's very plain, very generic. Looks more like a city character from the Lego Ninjago movie City. So still looks really cool though. Definitely a cool minifigure. So moving on, nothing special about that one. And we've got another Shark Army thug right here. 
with this cool uh, different color of printing for this cap. Uh, so yeah, it looks really neat, guys. I uh, got a big Thor hammer sticking out of this fish, so... For some reason, they really like to use fish as their grip for weapons, so whatever floats their boat, I guess. Right, guys? Some cool printing, definitely good-looking minifigure. Cool ones to have, for sure. And not last but not least, we have Ed. Uh, this is just an old man, grandpa, blah, 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 you know. Got some cool Japanese-style oriental clothing with this little wraparound with the cool sand green colored legs, uh, pants. So it looks great. He's holding a wrench because he's probably ready to fix something. Um, moving on, we have this cool little thing. This is the Shark Thug Army thingy majigger weapon. This is a, supposed to be a crab. You can see it's got legs and it does walk and is operated by these two little control sticks right here with this really cool uh, screen that looks really awesome. Uh, got a little seat there. You got these little things kind of move around a little bit so you can change the look of it. Got like a oxygen tank on the back with a flag on it. That looks really neat. I uh, got this claw too. That looks great because crabs usually have one big giant claw and then one small one. You got a, you can twist this and you've got a multi stud shooter right here. So that's great to have as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple design. Looks awesome for sure. But on to the star of the show as when it comes to vehicles. This is the lightning jet. So this thing is awesome, guys. Now I've never quite seen anything like this from the. Uh, Amazing world of Lego, of course, but it is awesome. It's very, very large, very big. Uh, looks very cool. I like the choice of blue with the little signature reds, grays, uh, light iridescent blue. So it looks really cool. You got a spring-loaded shooter right here, which is actually with the soft rubber tip. So it's the older style, but looks awesome. Uh, you can open up. Starting off with the front, guys, I just want you to see this. Uh, it looks really menacing, very uh, minuscule and mean and just ready to cause some issues for sure. Uh, got lots of little uh, decoys for little weapons up here and uh, you got lots of little details guys The inside's not so pretty, but you don't see that as much if you open up this little hatch right here Which is really cool by the way got us 360 degree views. It's a very spacey roomy interior It only suits one but it suits that one minifigure very very comfortably got two control sticks right here Nice little display right there. You got these cool little gold things. Not sure what they represent, but it adds more detail to the interior. Good seating position with this little backrest. So it looks really cool. Lots of stickers, guys. I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, printed pieces on this set, sadly. But it's okay because the stickers look cool. So it is a lightning jet, guys. These are all lightning rods that conduct electricity so that it can shoot lightning out of the side. Just, you know, it looks really cool. You got some lightning building up right here just to kind of decoy that. It looks great. Coming around to the back, you've got these crazy open wings with these really big thrusters for shooting out more lightning and making this thing fly even faster um, with these little adjustable little wings around it. It looks best at this angle though, that's the one they prefer it at. Got some more cannons on the back for back facing and shooting. Um, so yeah, it looks really cool. Um, about to get to one of the coolest parts of it, but you got this other cool little thruster back here that blows out more lightning and exhaust. Looks cool. Really big, crazy, disordinary ship right here for sure. Got more of just a little tail end coming out here. Um, and then that moves us along. So we actually have a little handle here with an acting play feature for a trigger. Now putting this together was the best part because it was super cool watching how all the play mechanisms came together. But yeah, you've got this really cool, it serves as a stand, but it also serves as a handle. You can hold it very comfortably, even my large hands hold it very well. But you can see there's a trigger right here, right? And you're thinking, well, what is it doing? You know, cause I'm pulling it and it's very tactile, very haptic, feels very good in the hand. Well, up here you've got a lightning generator and it just spins that when you pull this trigger. It spins that and you can go really, really fast with it if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Just they added that in there just for fun. And then you come up even farther and it's kind of hard to reach even for my large hands. So that may be a bit of a con to some people. But there's a trigger right here that you can pull to shoot this cannon. So as you can see, it has a lot of power to it. Uh, just the old cannon style. But yeah, guys, lots of cool little things about this. So that's definitely a fun one for your kids if they want to play with it or even for you. Uh, no judging here, of course. I definitely enjoy this set. So lots of little movements and things. The wings are adjustable. You can move them around. You can close these right here, the clips that are supposed to mimic that little shell right there. You can close them even more. You can readjust the wings to make them look like they're pointing outward or straight. Um, but yeah, awesome set, guys. Really cool. Good value to it. Um, definitely an awesome one to have. If you guys like blue and you like Jay and you like the Blue Ninja and you like play features, definitely a cool set if you like lightning as well. So, yeah, guys, uh, don't don't miss out on this set. Make sure this set, uh, excuse me, guys, don't miss out on this set, guys. 
Uh, definitely a fun one to have. Definitely really cool. Uh, make sure to tune back in, guys, for more Bricks and Studs videos. And thanks for watching.